Hi, this is Michael Clare recording for NUS Technology Security. This video is dedicated to Mr. and Ms. Johnson that I met today at the Chinese restaurant. Um, they were saying that they was having problems with their laptop not being able to, to connect to the internet through their wireless router at home, but their phones are able to connect and other network devices are able to connect wirelessly at their home except this one laptop. They also told me that whenever they take the laptop to different places that has hot spots, they're able to connect with the laptop. But whenever they take the laptop home, they're not able to connect. Now, I'm not sure about what type of wireless router they have, and I'm not sure about the Windows version that they have. Um, I didn't even take any of those things into account because from what she was telling me as a certified computer technician the only thing I could think about is however they set up their network the first time the wireless network the first time when they authenticated that wireless router they must have put the, the incorrect password for that wireless router inside their laptop saving saving that now I'm gonna show them how to get rid of it so their router could reconnect to that router and they could be asked to enter another um, key to get on that router okay so the first thing that they need to do is click on this little box that shows a small computer monitor do a right click on it once and you'll see two um, two possible um, choices one the first one is troubleshoot problems the second one is open network and sharing center you will pick the second one open network and sharing center click it once with your right click or if you you have a uh, key sensitive um, touchpad just tap that okay now it opens the dialog box opens and this is network and sharing center okay within this dialog box menu box I'll pick manage network connections well manage wireless connect networks manage wireless networks okay now I click on that once right click just once no double click just once right click okay let me go back just to show you guys okay right now I'm using Windows 7 my con my connection to the internet goes through this Cameron turn turn or whatever network this is this would be your router whatever your router name is you would see this bench in the middle where your router where, where your router is represented of course you know this is the internet and this is your computer right here okay so now I'll go back to manage network manage wireless networks I'll click on that once and within this this panel here of manage wireless networks you'll see manage wireless networks that use wireless network connections okay <coughs> Windows tries to connect to these networks in the order listed below okay so your first connection wirelessly would be the default connection if you have one and then this I have a Johnson's wireless and I have a Galleria Arts wireless which is my friend's um, barbershop and tattoo parlor he does excellent work there I must say okay enough of that advertisement okay so now this is my network right here okay this is the router that I'm connected to all of these will be the router names or the access point names now what I'm gonna do is because I haven't I don't even know who Johnson's wireless is I I probably forgot but they're using WAP 2 okay I'm gonna forget this wireless connection I'm gonna delete it all I'm using WAP 2 for um, authentication and encryption so what I'll do is I'll click here remove so this with the Johnsons. Oh, this one is named Johnsons. Isn't that isn't that ironic? Okay, I would um 
disconnect the Johnsons. They would have to know the name of their router and disconnect the Johnsons if they have the Johnsons by clicking remove. Click it just once, right click, and then it's gonna a dialog box is gonna pop up where it says manage wireless networks and say, Are you sure you want to remove this network? If you if you remove it, you cannot well can't connect to it anymore unless you create a new profile. Now, it's telling you this. Are you sure? Because you better be sure because you're going to have to reconnect and then you're going to have to put in your, because it's using WAP2, you're going to have to put in your password and you might not know it or whatever may be the case. Now, so, in the case of Mr. and Miss Johnson, you want to forget this, this wireless router. So, there it is. Removed off of my properties page and my wireless devices and routers. Now, I will close that out and then possibly if that's if that was the only wireless device, wireless router showing up in the, that properties page, your your um, little computer radio icon should start going in a little circle searching for wireless networks. And when it finds a wireless network, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it and try to add it. Um, or what you can do, if you don't know how to click on it and add it, just click on troubleshoot. And the troubleshooter will pop up. I'm gonna click on it once. The troubleshooter will pop up and it'll start running and saying, "Hey, do you want to connect to this and that?" And you connect to this and that. But this and that will, oh, let me close this because I don't want that running. Or what they can do, they can go right back to this. Well, I had it open already. I hope Troubleshooter stopped running because I don't want to lose my connection. So I'll do a right click once again and I go to Open Network Sharing Center. And to connect, this is what they should do. I click Connect to a Network. And then all my networks will pop up. All the available wireless networks, um, routers, access points will pop up. And I click on the one that I choose. I want to connect to. Let me see. This one, like this one. This one has authentication. Okay, that's why you don't see a explanation mark right there. So I'm not going to connect automatically. I'm just click connect, and it's going to ask them for an access key, Mr. and Miss Johnson. You must know the access key to your wireless router. That is the only way you're going to be able to log on to your wireless router and surf the internet all day, all night, just checking out my website, nusttechnologysecurity.com, and just having a ball shopping with shopnusttechnologysecurity.com. So what are you going to do? You're going to put in your, your information, whatever the wireless key is, and you're going to click OK, and you should be straight. Okay. I'm going to go through this once again. I'm going to close it out. Do a right click on it once. Open Sharing Center. Hey, you don't even have to do that. Okay, I went the long way. Okay, for all you geeks out there that already know how to do this, you might click on this once and all of them might pop up. It's much easier, right? So, once again, you click on the network that you're interested in connecting to, which is the wireless router or access point. Click Connect. It's going to ask you for SSID. For that router, you type in the SSID. It should be at least um, eight characters, and click OK. And that'll be it. So once again, this video is for Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. I hope you guys can follow this information. If not, you can always go to nusttechnologysecurity.com and watch the video over and over again but I'm gonna place it on Facebook for you guys and guys and girls alike who are probably having the same issue you could always go to my website or our business Facebook page and get the same information that I'm giving to you right now once again I'd like to thank you for viewing NUS Technology Security make sure you go to our website and give us some likes on Facebook if you enjoyed this video